welcome to this video today we are talking about social studies for class 5 cbse we will talk about hot deserts we will talk about hot deserts we have seen depending upon where a part of the land is lying as compared to the equator how close to or how far from us it is from the poles of the equator the temperature of the place changes accordingly we have divided the earth into torrid zone the temperate zone and frigid zone most of the deserts are in torrid zone but we have deserts in polar regions also what you see in this picture is a desert storm it is a very popular very important and very significant phenomenon of the deserts a desert storm where the sand is blown into the wind and it blows desert storm or sand storm is the storm in the desert which carries sand because of the strong wind or air it blinds everything and carries a lots of things away now we have seen that the north frigid zone lies between 90 degree north and 66 degree north that is arctic circle while the south frigid zone is antarctic circle to the south pole 66.5 degrees south to 90 degrees south this is the north and south frigid zone the temperate zones are between tropic of cancer and arctic circle or tropic of capricorn and antarctic circle these are called temperate zones the torrid zone lies between equator and tropic of cancer or equator and tropic of capricorn now equator is 0 degree latitude tropic of cancer is 23.5 degree north so in the north torrid zone we have two regions one is mostly the desert region another is equatorial forest from 0 to 10 or 15 degree north or 0 to 10 or 15 degree south we call it as a equatorial forest region and from 10 to 15 degree north to 23 to 30 degree north or 10 to 15 degree south to 25 or 30 degree south we call it as a desert zone a desert is a region with less than 10 inches of annual rainfall so what is 10 inches 10 inches is approximately 22 to 25 centimeters 2.25 centimeter is approximately 1 inch so you have 10 inches of rainfall or 25 centimeters and from maximum maximum in a year then that place becomes almost a desert so by definition what we call as a desert is a place where there is very little vegetation very hot climate very little rainfall this is a desert now one fifth of the earth's surface or 20 percent of the earth's surface is covered by deserts we already know 29 percent of the earth is oceans and 71 percent of the earth is land of this 20 percent is almost desert so of this 71 percent that is covered by land 20 percent is almost covered by the desert zero degree latitude is called the equator zero to 10 degrees is normally the forest region 10 to 15 and then 15 to 23 or 15 to 30 degrees north or south of the equator is called mostly the desert the desert region the three deserts are tropical or torrid deserts a temperate desert and cold or frigid deserts these are also the temperature wise zones of the earth you have deserts in each of this zone this is one important fact another important fact is almost every continent has a desert there is a desert in every temperate zone and there is a desert in every continent the features of the deserts are cloudless skies, dry winds that come from the sea. The land or the sand heats up very rapidly, so you have very hot days and cold nights. Mostly deserts are also characterized by deforestation. The top fertile soil is blown away and only unfertile bottom soil is available. And mostly they are on the western side of the continent. Mostly they are on the western side of the continent. They are very hot. There can be temperate or cold climate also. The weather is ex very extreme because of the little rainfall. There is no land or sea breeze. Mostly you have hot dry wind coming from the sea. This is about the climate of the deserts. Most importantly, during the day it is very hot. It may be up to 50 degrees centigrade and nights can be up to minus 10 degree cold. There are basically though we call desert exist in each of the temperate zone. The frigid or cold the temperate and the torrid zone there are four basic types of hot and dry deserts or the semi-arid deserts or the coastal deserts and cold deserts the picture that you see is a bedouin tent built out of camel skin we will see those details later this is a bedouin tent built of camel skin 
Now, the hot desert, the examples are Sahara, Kalahari, Great Australian Desert, Atacama Desert, Mexico, and Thar. Sahara and Kalahari are in Africa. Great Australian Desert is in Australia. Atacama Desert is in Central America, South America, like Pais in Mexico. And then the Thar Desert is in India. The temperate deserts, the most important example is the Mongolian Gobi Desert in China Russia region. And then the cold desert, the most important example is the Russian tundras. So, if we have desert in each of the temperate zone, what sort of animals we have? Large mammals are uncommon. Why? Because the vertebrates or the mammals need a special type of climate where water, air, vegetation and all should be suitable. Large mammals normally cannot live without water. And if they cannot store sufficient water and if they cannot tolerate the heat, it is difficult. Camels are an ex exception that exists in desert. Large mammals are uncommon in desert. Then what is common? Reptiles and rodents are common. Reptiles and rodents are common. Lots of insects are also common. Non-mammalian vertebrates are found in the deserts. What you see here is a sand dune and sand hills. The sand dune and sand hills are very popular in Sahara. Sand dunes and sand hills are very popular in Sahara. Sahara desert is basically the largest subtropical desert or a tropical desert. Because it lies in tropics, it's a tropical desert. Sand sheets, sand dunes, oases, depressions, shallow basins, mountains, plateaus. All these types of landforms are available in Sahara Desert. You can see in Sahara Desert, sand sheets, sand dunes, oases, mountains, plateaus, everything. So you have a mountain in Sahara Desert. You have a plateau. You have a shallow basin. You also have sand sheet and sand dunes. It's the largest desert because it covers almost a three and a half million square miles. It covers three and a half million square miles. It lies in African continent. It gets less than one and a half centimeter rain per year. We have seen in a desert, the rainfall will be less than 25 centimeters is a desert. Here you have not 25 centimeter, not even two and a half centimeter of rain in a year. Acacia trees are common, some grasses are there. Population of humans in the Sahara Desert region or the African Desert is less than 2 million. The human population in the African Deserts is total less than 2 million. Sahara is the largest hot desert on the planet. Sahara is the largest hot desert on the planet. Then we have the Kalahari Desert. The Kalahari Desert is found in southwestern Africa. It's around 200 square miles. We have seen Sahara is 3500 3500 into 1000 that is 3 and a half million square miles 3 and a half million square miles this is 2 million only 200000 square miles sand bushmen have lived in this area for over 20000 years bushmen have lived in kalahari desert for over 20000 years gazelle hyena jackals are the important animals that you find in kalahari desert then you have the next greatest is the great victoria desert which is 164000 square miles it gets up to 6 inches of rain up to 6 inches of rain this is the largest desert in australia you have two deserts in australia it is biodiverse the most important thing in australian desert is biodiverse biodiverse means what you have different types of plants different types of animals over there the woodlands of the great victoria are populated by eucalyptus trees interspersed by various grasses shrublands and gibber plains which consist of pebbles mixed with oxide and oils so you have mineral wealth you have stones and rocks you have plants you have lots of things in the great victorian desert one of the reason why you have bushfire in great victorian desert is because of the large grass and shrub lands so this is the great victorian desert these are the type of plants or trees that you find in kalahari desert or the victorian desert because of you have the shrubs like this you get a bushfire and in kalahari desert this is how the plantation looks like coming to gobi desert it is in south mongolia south mongolia almost in china asia gobi desert is in asia it is about 500 square miles Kalahari Desert is 200 square miles, the Great Victoria is 164,000 square miles, Sahara is 3.5 million and then Gobi Desert is 500,000 square miles. It is gravel and rocky. Gobi Desert is mostly gravel and rocky. The temperature is minus 40 degrees Fahrenheit to 104 degrees Fahrenheit. Less than 4 inches rain. It gets less than 4 inches rain. That is around 10 centimeters rain. Then comes the most important deserts, the Arctic and Antarctic deserts. These are the polar deserts. These are the polar deserts now the arctic desert is 62000 square miles antarctic desert is 
five and a half million square miles. So the greatest desert is Antarctic desert. Sahara is three and a half million square miles, while Antarctic is five and a half million square miles. So Antarctic desert, Antarctica is the greatest desert, the biggest desert. But Sahara is the tropical desert, while Antarctic is the cold or frigid desert. It is the windiest and the highest altitude. You have a mountain which is highest in Antarctica in the desert. The next highest mountain is in Sahara Desert. There are cold deserts also. From this we know the deserts are not just hot and humid, they are cold deserts also. It's one and a half times the size of USA. The Antarctica Desert, five and a half square miles is one and a half times the size of USA. What you see here is the Antarctica Desert. Arctic Desert is 62,300 square miles. The Alaska, Greenland, Iceland, Russia, Canada, all these countries share some part of the Arctic Desert. Temperature is very bad. That is minus 22 degree Fahrenheit. And it has wide plains and dome glaciers. There are glaciers in Arctic Desert. Coming to North America, the continent has a Chichuan Desert of Mexico. Chichuan Desert of Mexico is a North American desert. You find animals like coyote, kangaroo rat, that's a special rat called kangaroo rat. Then you have a rattlesnake. Then you have a tailed bat. All these things are found in Chichuan Desert. The picture that you see below is a Chichuan Desert. There are some green area. It is not completely sand, but some green areas are there. In South America, you have a Atacama Desert. It's a popular tropical desert. It is in the Chile state or country. It is in Chile country, South America, Atacama Desert. The Lama, the Alpaca, Vicuana, Greyface are the popular animals of South American Desert. The giant hummingbird, the Tamarugo Conbill, and the lesser rhea, the rhea and the giant hummingbird are the popular animals of Atacama Desert in South America. So you have seen there are two deserts in Africa, Kalahari and Sahara. Sahara is home to fennec fox, sand fox, jackal, spotted diana, adax antelope, dorcas, gazelle, dama deer, cape hare, jerboa, splendor, mongoose, etc. are found in Sahara Desert of Africa. In Africa, we have a Kalahari Desert. There we have jackals and hyenas and gazelles. In Africa, we also have Namib Desert. Namib is in Namibia. Namibia, you have the Namib Desert. There you have golden moles, side winders, web-footed geckos, vipers, etc. In Middle East, you mostly find camels and Arabian horses. In Middle East, you mostly find camels and Arabian horses. The Middle East Desert. The Egyptian vultures, ibex and falcons. Ibex and falcon. So Ibex is another form of a, uh, it's an either a gasoline or an oryx, it's a different animal. Then you have sand cobras, scorpions, dung beetles in the Middle Eastern desert. Jerbo and gasoline and oryx are also popular. These are the animals. In Gobi desert, the specialty is, this is a desert in which the only remaining bacterian camels of the wild are found. So this is what you see here is a Gobi beer. This is a Gobi beer. Gobi bears and the bacterian camels are found only in Gobi Desert in the wild. In other places you find either in the reserve or in the zoo. Gobi Desert is also home to Kashmir goats. The goats, the just like you take the skin of the sheep to make a special fur and wool, Kashmir goats are also popular for their skin. In Arctic deserts you have large bird colonies of Arctic terns, snow bunty, etc. Then you have a polar bear or a Arctic fox, ivory seagulls, etc. In Antarctica, you have penguins, seals, whales, and squid. The specialty of Antarctica, it is too cold that human population cannot survive there for long. These are about animals. About humans in Sahara, you find only nomads. Sahara being the largest and hottest desert, you find only nomads. They inhabit the desert. That means what? They move from region to region looking for ideal living areas. Coming to other deserts, the special ones are the Great Indian Desert called the Thar in Rajasthan. The Thar in Rajasthan, 92,000 square miles, 7th largest desert, home to sand ridges. You have trenches and ridges, sand ridges you have, that is small hills. 10% of the Great Indian Desert is sand dunes and the rest are craggy rocks, salt lake beds and grasslands. Because only 10% is sand dunes, it is mostly sand ridges and 7th largest. Then we have the white salt desert of the Kutch. It's called the Ran of Kutch. It is in Gujarat. Why we call it as a white salt desert? Because it's the dustiest and hottest region and it is white color because of the salt particles, salt on the surface. 
up to 10 centimeter thick salt you can find there 2800 square miles only there so 92000 square miles and 3000 square miles white salt desert then we have the special spitty valley the spitty valley desert is called a cold desert because it is in the hills in himachal it is in the hills cold desert spitty valley it is between tibet and india it harbors the wildlife and snow leopard these are the special deserts of india coming to the wildlife of the desert some deserts are very biodiverse the biota or the bion some deserts do not support all sorts of life form because water is scarce and plants are not there mammals cannot live because the trees are not there that gives shade so you don't have a habitat these are the special animals this is the dung beetle this is a gazelle this is the oryx this is a special tortoise that is endangered animal this is the sand cobra viper viper and cobra in the sand it camouflages and you can't find out this is the special which has webbed feet we have seen there are certain animals which have geckos it is a web footed gecko what you have seen here is a web footed gecko this is a bacterian camel with a double hump and these are the vultures now there are special smaller animals also ground squirrel spring box etc are also there that you see here these are the various wildlife of the desert diverse types of animals are there and they are endangered this is a special baobab tree the baobab tree is also called these are baobab trees this is a bottle tree it is called a bottle tree because it can hold up to 1000 liters of water the trunk of the tree is barrel shaped a bottle shape barrel shaped or bottle shaped and it is hollow inside as it grows and becomes bigger and older the inside becomes hollow and stores water sometimes it can hold up to 1000 liters of water these are found in kalahari desert in africa as well as the great victorian australian desert the bottle tree the baobab trees these are the thorny bushes these are the thorny bushes these are the thorny bushes these are the cactus plants that has spikes and spines cactus plants that has spikes and spines these are thick fleshy watery stems which work as leaves for the plants then you have the most popular date farm where the leaves and all don't require too much of a water for photosynthesis and it provides very rich date fruits date fruits are very famous because it is sugary sweet and contains lots of vitamins and minerals these are the arctic trees these are the arctic trees arctic ferns and this is a sidra plant found in the arabian and african deserts these are the plant forms of the plant life of the deserts the speciality is these plants are the only certain types which can withstand the extreme climate what is the extreme either it is too hot or there is scarcity of water or at times it is too cold as in arctic and antarctic regions they have deep roots that run deep into the soil searching for water mostly plants lose water through the leaves so the leaves of the desert plants are spines and spikes sometimes they have thorns sometimes they have waxy coatings the plants have thorns the plants have waxy coatings on their leaves sometimes the stem act as leaf so these waxy coatings and thorns help to prevent evaporation of scarce water the spines also help from attack of the animals animals don't eat them away sometimes we have thorny bushes sometimes you have thorny bushes and small small leaves so the specialty of the plant life in desert is that either you have very exotic thing like a bottle shaped trunk capable of carrying 1000 liters of water or you have stems that are thick and fleshy that store the water or you have spine like spine like leaves that protect from plants and prevent evaporation or they don't have leaves but they have thorns and thick waxy coatings to prevent evaporation so these are the specialties of the plant life there are specialties for animal life also 
for example in camel we will see what are the specialties of those animals leave alone the web fib gecko human life if you see water and vegetation is scarce so human life is very difficult this picture talks about the bedouins of the africa arabian peninsula while this picture talks about the tauregs of the western australia so what is what is a taureg t u a r e g t u a r e g so because vegetation is scarce people find it difficult to live here you have a picture of the bedouin tribes who are found in arabian deserts here you have a picture of the tuareg tribes who are found in the saharan desert in africa these tribes live a nomadic life they go from one place to another they don't have lots of belongings or they don't permanently stay there and accumulate material wealth this is a picture of a bushman of kalahari desert now because life is difficult and there is no vegetation some people of the desert stick to trading that is one of the main occupation they trade in rugs carpets or in dates the rugs and carpets are made of camel skin or goats some people take up farming farming is rice millet maize in summer or barley in winter some people take up mining mining is metal ores the african deserts are very pop rich in metal ores then you have fossil fuel what is fossil fuel you can mine oil gas etc so mostly people live nomadic life unless they are able to do some sort of farming near the oasis or some sort of oil and gas extraction the tents are made of animal skin mostly camel the bedouins and the tuaregs are the popular nomadic tribes of the deserts oasis is the only place where farming is possible oasis is a source of water from within the desert oasis is a source of water a place in desert where there is water and where plants can grow or agriculture can be carried out date palm is a very important plant of the desert life for the people because the fruits are sweet the fruits are rich in vitamins and minerals the fruits can be eaten by the humans the seed can be fed to the cattle the goats or the camel the seeds can be fed to the cattle and then the date palm stem is used for making ropes the date palm stem is used for making ropes so almost all parts of the date palm is used and most importantly the fruit that is rich in vitamins minerals and sugar is also helpful in trading this is a specialty of the date palm so this is one of the date palm farming is an important occupation that people carry out near the oasis and we have seen the sahara desert is rich in iron copper etc the arabian desert is rich in minerals fossil fuels fossil fuel is oil and gas you know qatar is rich in gas kuwait is rich in oil saudi arabia is rich in oil the oman and bahrain live with oil based economy that is the specialty of the ores that can be mined or the fossil fuels that can be dug up from the soils of the deserts in africa the most important part of the lifestyle of the deserts in africa or arabia is the camel camel is called the ship of the desert most of the animals in desert sleep during the day be it the reptiles or the rodents in their moles inside the hills and then during night time they come out camel is called the ship of the desert because it can survive in the desert very easily what are the specialties of the camel camel gives milk as a food for the people and for trade camel is a means of transport you can use camel for transporting goods and people it stores water in its stomach so you don't have to find water for the camel it stores water in its stomach there is a lining in the stomach it stores fat in a hump of the camel the hump of the camel here it stores fat this fat will be used as a food in case food is not available green grass or anything if it is not available camel can live on that fat then the feet has padded feet so it doesn't sink in the desert sand it can walk in the desert sand the legs are long and strong it can walk for long distances the ears are small so the sandstorm sand doesn't go into the ear the eyelid and nose are also small so the sand doesn't go into the eyes or the nose the jaws are tough so the jaws and lips the jaws and lips being tough they can eat cactus or any other thorny 
piney plants and will not get affected so this is what we study about the deserts the importance of desert or advantage is it is habitat for specialized flora and fauna it is abundance of soil nutrients and sometimes rich in fuels or ores the disadvantage is lack of water and extreme weather condition the main problem is desertification desertification is a process by which the usable lands become inhospitable this is happening on the border of the thar desert in rajasthan and gujarat where you find more and more hospitable land or usable land becomes inhospitable or unusable it cannot sustain life it becomes a desert that is a problem near the deserts desert biota must endure long drought period that is one challenge and then another is physical psychological or behavioral adaptation happens to plants and animals this is another benefits of the deserts so thanks for watching this video we have seen about the deserts the cold temperate hot three types of deserts oasis which is the life of the desert baobab tree and the date palm the plants that give life to desert camel the ship of the desert the bedouin and tuareg tribes who live in the south um in the african or saharan tribes and then oil and gas we find rich deposits of oil and gas in the arabian deserts which boost the economy then among the deserts the largest desert is the saharan desert then you have the kalahari australian atacama desert mexican desert the mongolian gobi desert is a temperate region desert and russian tundra is a cold region desert you also have the arctic desert and antarctic desert which is totally full of cold climate throughout the year so this is about it thanks for watching this video please keep coming back and subscribe